Hey book besties, welcome to my first book unboxing haul for 2023. I'm sure this is going to be one of many book unboxings coming your way in the new year. I thought there is nothing better than unboxing books on the first week of January. So that is exactly what I'm here to do today. I do want to say I have actually been collecting these book packages over the last couple of months, I think since like September. So I didn't go out and buy all of these books. I thought I'd mention that, but it still doesn't excuse the fact that I have a big book shopping addiction. I hope you guys enjoy watching this book unboxing because I'm so excited to be unboxing all of these book packages. Like it's literally giving me so much serotonin already. I have no particular order of where I want to start, so I'm just going to pick up random packages and unbox them. Okay, we're starting off with this one. Literally so excited. This is actually not something that I ordered for myself, I don't think. It's not. Oh, this is from my sweet friend, Ali. She has gifted me Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. Yes, my bestie is named Ali. And this book is also by Ali Hazelwood. And the little note that she has written for me is, love this. Thank you so much, Ali. Wow, this was such a great start to this video. But I have been wanting to read Love on the Brain for so long because I love the love hypothesis it was one of my favorite books of 2022 so i am really excited to be ringing this one up because this is an enemies to lovers romance and i just love anything ali hazelwood writes so i'm very excited to be picking this one up let's unbox this amazon package next a little asmr moment Here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have this in my hands right now because it's actually on my January TBR. And for that, I actually picked out The Deal by L. Kennedy because I have been wanting to start the off-campus series for the longest time. This is a college hockey sports romance. I've just heard nothing but good things about the off-campus series and The Deal in particular. I'm mostly excited because I actually got this book for $18, which normally this book in Australia is about $30. $30. So the fact that I got it for 18 was just so so good. We love a good bargain when it comes to books and I'm so excited to finally start the off-campus series in 2022. Oh my god, did I say 2022? I meant 2023. Is this another gift? Stop it. No. Seriously? Not a book from one of my favorite authors of all time. Our Secrets and Scars by Maisie Myers, who is the author of The Truth About Love. If you know me, you know how much I love The Truth About Love. It's one of my favorite books. I literally have it right here on my bookshelf and I have annotated the heck out of this book and I have been dying to read Our Secrets and Scars. And I am so excited that I finally have this book. My beautiful, sweet friend, Ali, has gifted this to me as well. Literally, Ali, you spoil me so much. Thank you so much. You are the sweetest human being ever. The main event, because you must read this girl. Film a reading vlog for it. Love you heaps from Ali Lamb. Well, Ali has requested a reading vlog for this book. So what do you guys think? Do you think I should film a reading vlog for this one? Kind of want to. <gasps> There's letters in this book. Stop it. I love letters in books. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. This is basically um, a pen pal romance and it's actually a pen pal prison romance. So I think it's the male character that is in prison and then the girl actually is the one writing letters to him and they're pen pals and that is just so interesting. I have never read a romance this way. So I'm super excited to be reading this. I love Maisie Myers. So I kind of want to pick it up in January even though I already have a set TBR, but oh my god. Let's open one of the book depository packages because these are my favorite ones to unbox because they are so, so satisfying. Ooh, one of my anticipated reads. I've got Dream On by Angie Hockman. Can we take a moment to appreciate this beautiful book cover because it is so Stunning. Angie Hockman is actually the author of Shipped, which I actually read just a couple of days ago and absolutely adored the book. I smashed through it. I think I finished it in maybe a day or a day and a half and it was amazing. So I'm very, very excited to pick this one up. I don't really know too much about this. I'm pretty sure it's basically about this main character who has a car 
accident and then while she's in like this coma state she kind of like dreams up this guy and she has like all these memories of this guy and it feels so vividly real but then she actually sees that exact guy in real life so she's kind of like dreamt up this man in her dreams and he is there in real life this is actually a book that I've already read. I read this earlier in 2022. Absolutely loved it. Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. This is the first book in the Hot and Hammered series. I love that series so much. It is so underrated. If you love Tessa Bailey's other books, definitely pick up the Hot and Hammered series because it is so good. I loved it so much. This one is a brother's best friend fake dating romance. I loved the main female character. Like, it's just so good. I didn't have a physical copy of the book because I borrowed it initially from the library, but then this one went on sale for $8. So I had to pick it up straight away and I'm so glad that I did because now I can have the whole trilogy like sitting next to each other. It's gonna be so cute. There's two in here. And so in that package, I have I Fell in Love with Hope and Throttled by Lauren Asher, which is the first book in the Dirty Air series. And I am so excited about these two. I actually was influenced by Ali to pick this book up because we were both doing an Amazon bookshop together and she picked that one up and I was like, okay, I want to pick it up too. So I decided to pick this one up. I don't really know too much about this book, but I found this book through BookTok because because the author is on BookTok and I'm pretty sure this one is her debut novel. Time will cease, disease will fester, death will die. I kind of want to read the back of the book for you guys because it sounds really interesting. Against the unforgiving landscape of a hospital, I broke the one rule, dying people must always follow. I fell in love. I fell in love with a mischievous, sun-eyed boy who became my only joy in such a desolate place. That's what made it all the more soul-crushing when he committed suicide in front of me. Oh my god. Definitely big trigger warning for this book. I definitely think I need to be in a really good headspace to read this one, but I'm very excited to pick this one up because it's very intriguing to me. As for Throttled by Lauren Asher, this has been a very anticipated read for me. And also this series in general is a predicted five star for me. This is an F1 sports romance and we're following Maya and Noah. And I believe this one is brother's best friend. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, but I'm super excited to be picking this one up and I really love the discreet covers. They are so pretty and I really appreciate that the spines actually have numbers so you know the order to read the books. If I like this book, I will definitely be picking up the other books in the series. Be proud of me though for not buying the whole entire series before reading the first book. I've learned my lesson. No, you're kidding. I distinctly remember I ordered this book with a different cover, like this particular cover. This is the cover I got. Like, it's not bad, but I don't like this cover. Anyways, the next book I picked up was One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I don't know why Amazon literally had the old cover on there when I purchased it. And they sent me this cover, which is a new cover, and it's not bad but like I wanted the OG cover because I have all the old covers and like this is not gonna match. First world problems I know. I'm still excited to read this one though because the premise of this one sounds so so interesting and I've heard nothing but good things about this book. I just really don't want this cover of the book which is so annoying. Again first world problems. I'll get over it. I'm just excited and grateful to be having this book in the first place because I've been wanting to read this for a while. This one is basically about this couple who were high school sweethearts completely smitten and in love they were married and then the husband actually gets into a helicopter crash and then he goes completely missing and the wife thinks that he's dead so she ends up eventually grieving and then moving on and finds love again then years pass by and turns out the husband's alive and now she's kind of stuck in the situation of what the heck do I do like I've moved on I found love again but then this was my childhood sweetheart like that kind of thing so this is like the only love triangle book that's kind of actually intriguing intriguing me and getting me excited because Love Triangle is such a hit or miss, mainly a miss, but I feel like this one is going to be a hit. Very disappointed in Big Depository though for sending me this cover. All right, let's open this Amazon package because I know what it is. It is a box set. 
It is a young adult book series and that is the Love and Gelato series. So I got this one in a box set, which is so, so good. So we've got Love and Gelato, Love and Luck and Love and Olives. Love and Gelato is set in Italy. Love and Luck is set in Ireland and Love and Olives is set in Greece. And I'm so excited to basically be having my own little European summer by reading these books. I literally love that the spines all match. Then I have this Amazon box as well. Yes, thank you. Amazon honestly pulling through by sending me the right covers, unlike Book Depository. So first up, we have got Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. This was so hyped up on BookTok a couple of months ago. I have been really wanting to read it and then it went on sale on Amazon specifically for this cover. So I had to pick it up. It's also kind of giving me people who meet on vacation vibes because it looks like it's spanned out maybe in six summers because it says six summers to fall in love, one moment to fall apart a weekend to get it right so it's giving me people we meet on vacation vibes which i'm so excited about and the main character is named persephone i love that name and this is also a second chance romance as well and it's set on like the summer side lake don't want to jinx it but i feel like this might be a five star read for me all right next up is a super anticipated book series that i actually managed to score as a hardcover on amazon if you live in a Australia. I know that it's super hard to find this series with this specific cover. I got this one from Amazon. I'm going to have it linked down below because I should be able to find it again. But these went on sale. <laughs> Can you see a trend? I literally buy books when they're on sale. I got the Inheritance Games series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've heard everyone, literally everyone talk about this series, saying it's the best thing ever. Like this is so perfect for when you're in a reading slump and it's kind of like knives out and there's romance as a subplot and there's like riddles. And like, I feel like me being a Ravenclaw in the Harry Potter universe, I would really appreciate this series. And I'm so happy that I've got these covers because I've been wanting these covers for the long time and that's why I haven't bought them is because you can never find these covers and then I found it on Amazon randomly and I had to get it. So we've got The Inheritance Games, The Hawthorne Legacy and The Final Gambit. I kind of want to film like a reading vlog, reading the entire series in that vlog. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. There is nothing under the dust jackets but this is what the spines look like. So there's no like illustrations or anything but I don't really mind because I just wanted these beautiful covers. I also got some books off of Facebook Marketplace, which actually were posted to me. So I've been having them for a few months now. <gasps> Yay! Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I am so happy to finally have this in my hands, in my arms. And this is the newer cover. It is so, so beautiful. It's giving me such cozy vibes. Like how stunning is this cover? So this one is Childhood Friends to Lovers and it's also Second Chance Romance. They meet again years later and reconnect. And I am very excited because I love books that are like that. And this is also Sarah Caroli's favorite book of all time. And I trust Sarah Caroli's opinions very, very much. So I'm very excited to be picking this one up. I'm so excited, guys. Oh my God. And then I also have another Facebook marketplace package as well. So we've got The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I am so excited to read this one. This is an adult romance, but it has no spice. This is a best friends to lovers and one of us is famous trope. The guy is like a famous football player and the girl is actually a ballerina and they have to fake date. I also think this may be in dual POV. Yes. It is in Jewel POV. I'm so excited. I love Sarah Adams with my whole heart. She writes the best wholesome, feel good, fluffy romance books. So I'm very, very excited to pick this one up because this one is more of her popular romance books. So very, very keen for this one. And then last but not least, we have this big W book package, which I'm so excited for. This is the one that I ordered Black Friday and these books were half price. And actually, I don't think all of these were half price. I think majority of these were half price and I had to pick them up because we love a good 
good bargain. I am really hoping that this time the books actually don't come damaged because if you guys watch my birthday book unboxing haul, I think it was the Twisted series and the Callaway Sisters books was slightly damaged and that literally broke my heart. I'm like over it now, but it's like so frustrating when you buy new books and they come like slightly damaged because I'm like, no, we don't want that. But I have a good feeling about this one. Also, shout out to Big W for actually sending the books in a box this time instead of like one of those bag packages because I think that is where the books got damaged last time. Um, but I have a good feeling about this one. I'm kind of freaking out. Okay, let me put this book box down. I'm so glad that I held off from buying these books because they ended up going on sale for half price. I actually got... These two books in particular for $8. It ends with us, which is the collector's edition. And it also has bonus exclusive content. So I'm very, very excited because I've been wanting to do a reread of It Ends With Us. But I want to do a reread with the bonus content. It Ends With Us was my first Colleen Hoover read. I think a lot of us would have read It Ends With Us first as our first Coho book as well. But I really, really enjoyed this book. So I'm really excited to be reading this one for the second time. Of course. I had to pick up it starts with us as well because i still have not read this book i am so happy because since these two are part of a series they're the same height so they go really really well together it starts with us is a sequel to it ends with us so it kind of picks off from the ending of it ends with us and this is more of lily and atlas i also picked up the after graphic novel by anna todd Honestly, was initially not even going to get this, but then I was like, okay, it's half price and I have never read the after series and the graphic novel just sounds really interesting. This one is volume one. I don't know if there'll be more volumes in the future. I would assume so, but I'm really excited. I've been really getting into graphic novels lately. And then I've got a few Ella Mays books. So I've got Marriage for One, The Hardest Fall, and To Love Jason Thorn. I actually do already have To Hate Adam Connor on my bookshelf and I think you have to read To Love Jason Thorne before you read To Hate Adam Connor so I picked this one up straight away because I really want to read To Hate Adam Connor and I'm so happy that Ella Mays's books have got these new cute cartoon covers because I know for sure Marriage for One had like a male on the cover like a real person on the cover and I just love the cartoon covers better. I think they just look so much cuter and I feel less awkward reading them in public. I almost forgot I also got some books from my mum for Christmas that I never showed you so I thought I would show that as well. It came in this cute little bag and these are books that I've been wanting to read for quite a while. She got them from my Amazon wish list, so shout out mum. So she got me The Off Limits Rule by Sarah Adams which you guys know. One of my favourite no spice romance authors and also A Risk on Forever by Ennis Perkins which I have been wanting to read for so long as well. Thank you so much to my mum for gifting me these two books as well to add to my physical TBR. So that concludes this book unboxing book haul to welcome in 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this book unboxing. This is definitely going to be one of many in 2023 because I love book shopping. I love ordering books. It gives just it just gives me so much joy in life. It really truly is little things. But if you guys enjoyed watching please give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. I post new videos every single week leave me any other book recommendations and reading vlogs that you guys would like me to do like what books would you like to see reading vlogs from definitely want to do one for the inheritance game series and i definitely also want to do one for the folk of the air trilogy once i get around to reading them also follow me on all my social medias i'll have everything linked down below i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day i wish you all nothing but a happy and healthy new year in 2023 and i will see you all in my next video Bye!